So, um, <laughs> I've been a bit cheeky. The front of our house is such a state, right? And part of that is because Mark always thinks he can do everything himself. I don't know if you've got one of those um, DIY wizards. So he always thinks he can do all of it himself. So he wants to work till one o'clock every morning, do the garden totally by himself, do the front garden and paint the house. So, last night when my mum and dad were here, uh, we came up with a plan that dad would get his chap, who's brilliant, who helps him out with his house, to come over and we're just gonna start painting the front of the house, we're not gonna tell Mark anything. So, um, he's, he's at the gym at the moment, so <laughs> it's gonna be a real shock when he walks back to see this all, it's all started, the painting. So, um, I'll make sure I'm filming as he arrives home. <laughs> Home time, it's Monday. After a really miserable Sunday, it's Monday and Mondays are usually shit. But today, it's been a good day at work and I am doing something rather conventional. On my way home from work, I have stopped off at the gym to do some jimmy stuff. I've just done loads of weights. I've not run because I can't run for two weeks. So I've gone on the cross trainer, I've gone on the cycling machine and I've gone on the rowing machine and I've done weights, lots of weights. Um, so that's good. And now I'm gonna go via um, the supermarket and Nadia seems to think that there's some kind of a surprise in store for me at home. I hate surprises. Are you one of those people? I mean, I really hate surprises. If you were to have a surprise birthday for me, A, it would be remarkable because I don't know enough people to create a surprise birthday and B, I would run for the hills. I would literally disinvite myself to my own surprise party. Um, I just feel that there's a crushing expectation on you being I don't know, excited about it, when in fact I like to be forewarned, foreprepared, pre-prepared, pre-warned, everything. I like to know I'm... It's like I don't want to ever go out. If I'm given the choice, I'd never go out socially. But once I'm out, I'm a real social butterfly. I can really socialise and I'm, you know, I know I can sort of be entertaining and all that kind of stuff. But when it comes to the choice, give me the choice and I'll always say no. It's why it's always better to get me as a captive person. But a surprise, I hate to say, if I walked in through the door, I don't know what I'm gonna walk into today, but if I walked through the door and there was a surprise, I would probably turn around and walk out. <sighs> Just having a quiet little moment. This one is so annoying at the moment. You know when you have a really clingy child when they're first getting a cold, that's what she's like, constantly needing me. It's really annoying me. And of course, because poor old Chi Chi doesn't get a look in, not a look in. She's not allowed anywhere near me. Good news is, I've got a delivery, I've got a box from Laura Ashley, I'm really excited, because I think there's gonna be pillows in it. And after my pillows from John Lewis that are a bit hard and don't like that much, I'm hoping my Laura Ashley pillows will be nicer. Look at her, look at her. She's what she's like the whole time. Um, so yeah, I don't know if any of you saw my uh, sort of vlog yesterday or the Instagram feed where I was moaning on and on. I had the worst day. Actually, I had a horrible weekend, actually. All round, it was just a horrible weekend. Um, and and I was really looking forward to this weekend. So annoying, isn't it? You shouldn't look forward to weekends in case I go wrong. Anyway, so today I got back on the horse. I e I got up and before anyone was up, I just did a short meditation. Uh, not meditation. Uh, yoga using Adrian Yoga. Um, Zoe, thank you. Zoe recommended it, and and in fact, a lot of people have backed that up. It's really good. I mean, just tons of yoga on, isn't YouTube bloody brilliant? All the stuff you just get for free. I mean, we'd have had to have bought those DVDs and everything, wouldn't we? And now it's all for free, so it's great. So I did that. I just did the morning uh, yoga. It's only 11 minutes. And then I did um, a meditation. Mark chose it because he came and did it with me, loving kindness. Poor old Mark, he's got something going on at the moment that I can't tell you about because it is very private and it's with somebody else. It's about somebody else and it's just really tough on him. It's really, really tough. So, um, yeah, he does get down about that. So he wanted to do a meditation this morning on loving kindness. So we did that together and that was good. Oh, and I've just done my Lucy Wyndham read seven minute drop address size hit workout again on youtube 
all for free. How lucky are we? I really recommend those two things. Adrienne Yoga, Lucy Wyndham Reed for exercises. And anyone wants this dog, very, very clingy, supermodel looks. You can't have her, because even though she's really annoying, I'm not going to give her away. Am I? <laughs> you are the most annoying dog in the world, aren't you? Aren't you? And we don't know how, but all along her front here, she's got chewing gum. How did that happen? Huh? Just stopped off at Sainsbury's on the way on the way back from the gym, just to grab a few bits and bobs for Nadia for tonight. Um, and I just had the strangest experience, and I don't wish to get all mawkish and upset. Um, but I was just going around the supermarket, and I used to always do shopping with my grandparents when I was a when I was a boy. I used to go around the supermarket. Dad, my granddad used to make me get me to add add, add things up, and the closest I got to whether that was the total, he'd give me money, and um, I'd go around the shops with my nan, and my nan used to have her connection with the local community when she used to get Sainsbury's. Anyway, I was just in Sainsbury's just then, just shopping, and just went so many things. It was like a rapid montage of all the things that collectively reminded me of Nan and Grandad. And, you know, whether it be the biscuits I had or the um, hot cross buns, and then I passed the Gaviscon, which we, we used to buy for my Nan. Um, and it was just a really... It was like I was tr taken back in time. Now, I'm not a sort of spooky, spiritual kind of person in that idea that, you know, people come back from the dead and all that kind of stuff. But I'm going, I'm, you know, I'm heading towards a really tricky Saturday this weekend. Very emotional, very uh, complicated, very, you know, riddled with all sorts of potential pitfalls and, 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 and trap, trap doors, emotional trap doors, all sorts of things. And I need to have my wits about me. At the same time, I really want a nice resolution to the thing that I'm going through. And it wasn't that I necessarily even reached out to my nan about these things, but she, um, and I certainly never have kind of reached out to my mum. I reach out to my mum more now than I ever used to. I don't think of my mum as my mum, so I've never really gone through life. But I was just faced whilst I was just in the bloody drinks aisle, grabbing a few bits and bobs. I caught myself and tears came to the, you know, to my eyes. And I just had to just hold my chest just for a minute because I was just overwhelmed with the sadness of my nan not being with us anymore. And, and as I say, it's not necessarily about the fact that I would necessarily worry her with this stuff or talk to her about this stuff, but she was so part of my emotional makeup and she was so much a part of that, that, final line of defense and care and support if you like that I just knew she was there and I just felt for the first time the real absence of her and that was quite a shock so I'm just sharing that because amazing how quite literally seeing a packet of Hovis biscuits or a bottle of Gaviscon or um, a, a particular drink or uh, or a particular brand of tea bag that my granddad used to get um, just reminded me of how much we should value those older members of our families who might not be able to just might not be able to help you on a literal practical level but the very act of them being there is a huge comfort and support uh, and I just felt I suppose for the not the first time I was just reminded, I was reminded of how on my side of the family and for me, I'm kind of the one person responsible for everything. You know, I don't have a dad, I don't have a, a mum in the conventional sense. Uh, and I don't have my nan and granddad. And I just sometimes really miss them. God, I'm so nervous. Mark's coming back any minute. <laughs> He's gonna find the painter outside. <laughs> Is that him? Oh my God. God knows what he's gonna say. I'm in mortal danger. He's still left over from yesterday. The girls had the other one. Bobby's lemon half moon. Total shit. Bad few cake. Someone to eat it. I'm going to do 50 squats instead too. 
three. This is a good idea. Every time you want to eat something, you shouldn't just squat. There we go. Oh my God, I'm pretty sure that's marked. The car! I can hear the car. Here he comes. Oh my God. He could go completely mad about this. Let's hide around here. Yeah, the car's outside. Oh my God, and the paint is right by the front door. <laughs> what he doesn't know is, oh no, I can't say this because he'll see it when I edit. There's something else I'm going to be doing without him knowing, but he'll see it when he edits it, so I can't tell you. I'll have to find some other way to tell you. Maybe secretly on an Insta story. How about that? I stay for it. What's going on? Incredibly charming people. <laughs> They're all very nice. Lovely Tarek. I love Tarek. Your dad's friend. And uh, the window guys. <laughs> Who are all these people you've employed? We've got people cleaning the windows. Yes. And we've got is people... Is it because you're dissatisfied with what I'm doing in the garden? Oh, what did I say to you guys? What did I say? Is it? No, it's because you think you can do everything. I don't think I can do those. Those are great jobs to be done. What are you cross about? I'm not cross. I'm oh. delighted. Oh. Well, there I we go. Had, so I do I had... get a kiss and a thank yeah, you? Yeah, well done. Well, that you, went well, didn't it, girls? You're paying them, though. I'm not. Didn't that um, go well, girls? Um, Very well. <laughs> I don't want to repeat it too much. I mean, I did talk about it in the car. Oh, okay. I just got completely cut up, absolutely felled in Sainsbury's, welled up with tears. Oh. Um, and it was just, it was, it, I was talking about it earlier today, this feeling that Nan is around me. Oh. And I just missed her and I missed Dad. And uh, I was just saying to the subs, you know, got such a emotionally uh, difficult weekend coming up ahead. And it wasn't the fact that I would have talked to them about it, but I just, felt weirdly I felt the lack of her but in feeling mm. the lack of her I felt her mm. and it was as I went around the center, and there was such comfort I realized I get such comfort from going around the supermarket it takes me back to being with them at their waist looking up and yeah I know I was, I was it, it's, it really sad me I just really missed her really Aww. missed her and we were talking about her earlier as well weren't we let's split it up yeah, I just, just wondered whether... I really think we should go to Muddy Foot Oh, I can't. Just have I can't. a try. I can't, it's too soon. But I just wondered whether, because, uh, you know, I am going through this sort of tricky time. She didn't like it if she knew I was upset or, or going through something. And I just felt for that... It's that weird thing, because my mum isn't my mum, in that sense. I felt like the elder... Per you know, I am the oldest in my family responsible for me. Yeah. And I always had the thought of Nan and Dad, even though they were, they were too old and too infirm to be able to be anything, and, and of a different generation and walk of life, but there was always that feeling. Yeah. And I just was reminded of that Someone feeling of being... Someone's got your a, back. Someone who's got your back. And yeah. it's that grown-up orphan thing. Mm -hmm. I just realised, you know, because my mum is like a grown-up child, and I mean that in the kindest way. I love her to bits, but... I feel like I'm always kind of... My mum, I always feel like I'm pointing her in the right direction and then yeah. letting her go. Yeah, but when she... But when, when she... She's really yeah. good when things are really bad. Yeah, no, I was saying right. things are much better, but it's just... No. I don't know, I just felt it. How bizarre, I felt it in the... I felt it in the fucking meat aisle and then the, in the Gaviscon aisle and then looking at malt loaf, then looking at Hovis biscuits, then looking at Dad's tea bags. I was just like... Oh, it's weird. So weird. Look, I've got these to plant in the new greenhouse across the garden. Oh, wow. Swede, runner beans, all for mm. the right time, parsnips, turnips, and the gracious tomato. Yummy. And some rocket. Woohoo! Yeah? Cup of tea. Tea makes things better. Would you like a piece of cake to a bit of nanny cake? Would that help? Well, I don't feel that that cake you're all into is nanny cake. I'm sorry. It's, it's not called the, Bobby's, that cake. It's not the nanny cake I remember. I remember the one with that sort of light layer of icing. Mm. And don't forget, grief is the price we pay for love. I want to punch people when they say that. But it's it such a beautiful saying. Our queen came up with that. But I just think it's so beautiful. Well, it, it, it's because you loved her that you feel that you miss her and you feel sad. Yeah. It's better to have loved and lost than never have loved at all. Think of all the people who's never had anyone in their family that was good to them or kind to them. We're so blessed.
We have people in our life that loves us. That but love like us. my mum said the other day, she was really relieved when she was in New York. She said, thank God I don't have a partner who I know will die and I'll miss them. And I thought... God, that's dumb. You two are the most miserable yeah. geeks and sometimes. Said, and, and she was like, but I don't know how you or Nadia... I'm so glad I haven't got like anyone me. at home loving me because now I don't have to bother with missing them when they mm. die. <laughs> that is fucked up, babe. Well, it is fucked up, but at the same time, there's a lot of people who are single who won't have that horror. I'm going to make you coffee. Oh, God, just unwrapping these freezers. Oh, and I just wish there was smell vision Oh, Mark, smell this, smell this, smell this. Oh, yeah, lovely. So fragrant, I cannot tell you. And look, look, dark pink, white. See, now the house is tidier. It's nice to have flowers because I'll actually see them. Because before I was there, oh yeah, I'll get a nice bunch of flowers, but I won't see them. Look, pale pink. Aren't they gorgeous? What's your favourite? Well, that, those ones smell like roses. Smell those. Oh, God, they're gorgeous. Do you think you could grow them? What are they? Do you know what I'd love? It's like if you could grow an area where we yeah, could have could. cut and come again flowers. Yeah, you could. That would be the most amazing thing, Mark. Can you do that? Or, Kev, are you going to pull them off? Could you do that? Yeah, you can. You can have cut and come again flowers, but you, you often need an enormous amount of space. Oh, yeah, I remember you saying uh, that before. Do you remember that garden we went yeah. to? We're going to go to some gardens. Yeah! We are we're gonna say because oh, I always oh parcel Mark I hope you didn't hear that that was disgusting oh. the thing is about flowers do you have this thing where it's lovely to get flowers then you think ah oh, got to find a vase so um yeah I'm gonna put them in the vase then I'm gonna show you how lovely they look do you have liked a career as a flower arranger? No, I would have absolutely hated it. The thing I hate most about flowers is having to put them in a vase. It's a real vase. art form though, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. My mum's really good at it. I think you they're have, a you bit need lost. different heights. In fact, they're a bit lost in there. I might do a separate. Well, aren't they beautiful? Look at that, just simply on its own, just the pale pink. Very beautiful. Be beautiful. Oh my God, the smell of them. The simple things in life, huh? Just the simple, beautiful thing. And they're, they're only four quid, a bunch, which is good because they are very good. Um, I remember, whatever happened to the art of pressing flowers? I used to Do you love that? doing that. Do you remember the old kid. clamp Loved things? It. You used to clamp them down. Yeah. And beautiful things. They look very stringy, babe. They look. What do you mean? Well, I think you they're need to cut. They're supposed to be I think like you need to that. A bit shorter so they're not hanging over quite so much. No, are they supposed to be like? Do you not that? agree, subs? Well, what about putting them in here? Do you think they're too long? I, uh, can I make a recommendation? Just to oh. pull them out just for a sec. I think you need to cut to there. <gasps> and then they, and then pop them back in there and they'll look rather beautiful. That's just my hunch as a kind of vaguely aesthetic you individual. Used to, mum used to, to... Can we just have a little conversation about yesterday's vlog? What the hell was your mum up to? Hang on. What the hell? Well, no. I turn the camera off, no, guys. no, no, but I think what's more troubling, and it proves to me that you two are also part of the madness, Ooh. is yes, you sounded sort of perplexed off camera, but no one, no one, you, you didn't have the killer journalistic instinct of driving to that. You, you let her get away with not explaining what the hell she was doing. Well, she just, I kept asking. No, you didn't, you needed no, to no, push I it further. After, after I turned the camera off. There was no explanation. What? She just wants him to stop wearing the shirt. So was that a wanton attack, a vandal yeah. attack on a shirt yeah. to prevent him wearing it again? Yeah. Unprovoked or provoked? Is she um, sick of it? She said, that elbow has been driving me mad the whole way through dinner. Now, can you see how the ones that you've cut shorter are working now? Would you know what's really funny? What? I couldn't find any scissors, so I didn't cut any. <laughs> so how come they were shorter ones? <laughs> Well, how come they're short? It's the, it's the difference in heights that's working. Do you think they all need to go in this one? Yeah, that's looking much better as you do it. Go for it, go for it, go. Oh, now you're talking! Look at that. Oh my god, the aroma. The smell. The aroma is just. Oh my god. Ludicrous. Oh my god, they just Look. make me feel happy inside. I feel happy. I feel happy inside. I feel happy inside now. I feel happy inside. I love them.
now. Couldn't be more contrasting to I where you were yesterday. I happy because of the flowers, those in the flowers. Hmm? Do you feel happy too now you see the flowers? Thank you. It's all right. <laughs> it is ridiculous, isn't it? You know how I'm always banging on about just doing something nice for yourself. Well, just a simple bunch of flowers. I'm going to put them there. And it's made me more proud of how clean my house is. I'm now really happy. Laurie. Yes! Yay! Is it Laura Ashley? I don't know. It just says fragile. Fragile? Oh, yeah. I haven't ordered anything fragile. Mm -hmm. Oh, it is Laura Ashley. Yee hee! So. Up there for thinking. Down there for dancing. Up there for thinking. Down there for dancing. Up there for thinking. Down there for dancing. I was back on the weights Dance. machines today and I felt like Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Oh, I've asked you, how, how has that been? Has it been nice for you? Do you feel, did you get a bit of the adrenaline buzz? Well, I enjoyed feeling my muscles expanding. Yeah. Now, if you do the yoga as well, strengthening your muscles while stretching them. <gasps> Why don't you do 11 minutes of yoga with me tomorrow morning? Get up early and do yoga with me before I go to work. Maybe. Oh, no, I'm doing a yoga lesson. No, you can't. Unless you come over to the yoga lesson. 9.30. Oh, oh, no. Yay! More pink shit. Are these as un... Oh my God, oh my they God, are. They're identical. <laughs> they're, as, they're as unwelcoming as oh the other God, ones. Oh, look, they're the same. They're a nicer pink. That's the newest one. And that's the Laura Ashley. Oh, the Laura Ashley's nice. Well, it's one's nice more of a salmon. But... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. It was so... It's like... It's like a bristly man. That is so pink. Well, I thought the pink with the accents of blue around the house, I thought it would look really nice. Babe, I don't want to be in a fairy princess house. It's not a fairy princess. It's totally fairy princess. No, no it's not. That's Barbie. Well, babe, it's like candy floss. I can't sit and watch... Like candy! I can't sit and watch it's manly... Like candy floss. That's not this... I can't sit and watch manly things with on that. Well, don't sit with us then. You can sit on the leather sofa. What do I watch Game of Thrones on then? We always sit on the leather. I don't want to sit on that. I don't want to put these out until Chi Chi's had a bath. I'm going to have to give Chi Chi a bath. Chi Chi. Chi Chi. Chi Chi. Look, Sobs. I'll get it all together and then I'll show you. It's going to be lovely, but oh my God, it's going to get filthy in minutes with the dogs. I don't care. I just hate those stupid blankets we've got on there. Don't you hate a cheap throw? I hate it. There were a ten of those other things we've got on there. Maybe what we do is we just put them on the top for the dogs. They're just like the Mark ones. Mark loves it when he's using my camera to film and a message comes in because he's the nosiest <laughs> mugger in the world. That was a message from Joe Moore and he was reading well, no, it. It was a funny title. Read it. Ladies Who Punch. That's Lunch. you. Ladies Who Lunch. It was Ladies Who Punch. Oh, was it? Oh, yes. oh okay. I'll have a read of that in a minute. No, are you, a, are, are you a lady who lunches? Is that what you are, a lady? Well, I prefer to be called a woman that one. I, I actually Why do you have to define like, it by gender? I don't actually like the word Ooh. lady. Do you know I the, prefer to be called woman. But do you know the word woman, the origins of the word woman is woe to man, as in being oh, beneath the man. So it's actually the, the very, very word woman is in itself misogynistic. But you know what the thing, problem is? For me, a lady is at a certain age. For me, it's in your late 60s. That's, it's not really a, a feminist thing. It's, a, it's an age thing. Okay, so here's the other one. People get very uppity about whether they're called Ms or Miss. No, they don't. Yeah, Maybe they do. Yeah, no. Oh, my Lord, I'm they Ms. so do. I'm Ms. Why should I have to state that I'm married and yet my husband But does? what is the difference between Ms and Miss? Ms is saying... It's a statement that says, I should not have to say whether I am single or married. So it's politicised, Ms. Yeah, that's why I'm a Ms. Why? You're a Ms. Yeah. So you'd never call yourself Miss? No. Why? What's Miss? Because why should I have to say, I'm not married or I'm married, where a man never has to? Oh, I see. So Miss is saying, I'm not married. Miss is, is and Ms is kind of saying, fuck you all. Doesn't matter, yeah. You're a bunch of bastards. Yeah. Go screw yourself. Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> I get it. I'd say the same thing. Why isn't there one... Well, I suppose Mr. doesn't denote if you're married or not married. No. 
So you've ah. got Miss or Mrs. So why do you want to be called woman when woe man is woe to man? No, it was woe to man. I just like ladies it's, because it makes me sound like... I'm a lady. I'm a lady. I'm a lady. You once, twice, twice three, three times, times a lady. lady. And I love, love, love you. Because you once, twice, twice Three times a lady, and I love you so much. You. Commodores. So much. Love you. All right, let's see what this very interesting volley of texts are. So, tomorrow is Tuesday, and it's the Easter holidays. So, I was saying to Maddie and Kiki, we don't have Daddy Days anymore. So, I'm going to have a Kiki and Daddy Day tomorrow, where we're going to go into central London, we're going to do something arty, we're going to go and eat something, we might pop into the shops, but we're going to have a good old laugh. So, it's a Daddy Kiki Day tomorrow. Um, and then there will be a Daddy Maddie Day, and there'll be a Mummy Maddie Day, and there'll be a Mummy Kiki Day. Oh, and that's what ladies, we tend to do at Easter. The ladies who punch is this tell-all book about the view, which is the same American as Loose version. Women. Yeah. The American version of Loose Women. We have to, you mock, you have to sit and listen to this row that goes on between these two presenters. Okay. It was something that was taped. Mm. We'll put the link up for you to do it. It was something that was taped. So yeah, so it's Easter. What are you doing for Easter? When does Easter start? Why is the Easter holidays, why are the Easter holidays so long and protracted? Why are there so many weeks off at Easter, but only like three days off at Christmas? Why do we all still operate inside our bodies to the school calendar? I know instinctively when it's half term, even though we don't really observe half terms. So, you know, it's all these weird things. When is Easter? When is Easter? So this is Richard Madden. Is Richard you know, Madden he was gay? This... No, I don't think so. He was the star of The Bodyguard yeah. and was in Lady Chatterley's Lover. He mm -hmm. was the lover. Lover. Um, uh, it's quite interesting, this, because he said that he fears he's projecting an unrealistic body image for men. He said he and many other actors he knows will hardly eat a thing and go to the gym twice a day to, to look the way that they, I that feel they I'm, do. I feel like I'm projecting a, 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 an unrealistic body image. Yeah. Don't you? Yeah. Mm. So he said, you know, and they'll be, he'll be in the gym and there'll be other actors there and they look at each other and go, what the hell are we doing? We're starving. We're doing yeah. all of this and we're projecting the very thing that's fucked us up. Yeah. And of course now he's saying he will only do those sort of scenes if he's if it's absolutely relevant to the script. And he said, you know, if, if I look in a script and within the first 15 pages I've got to have a shower, I know that the script's all about me taking my top off. Yeah. And I suppose that's what you have to do. He's now in a position where he's a star, so he can now start saying no. But, but I never really think of actors being like that. I just think of actresses. I mean, enormous pressure. I once had this, um, this part in this show. It was a drama. And um, I'd had this big, I was at this real big upset about, I was having to do this swimsuit scene. I've told you this. I don't know if I've told the subs. Anyway, I was really upset. It was a really short, it was a, a very sort of um, short notice to this part. And when I said yes to it, I hadn't realised I had to be in a swimsuit. Anyway, cut a long story short, I'd been really upset in the morning. I was a young actress and I was really worried and I'd reached out to the... Um, wardrobe and said I don't think I can do this I'm really worried it was an all-male scene most of the um crew was male so she took the director to one side and she said look now just feeling really apprehensive about it is it right if she wears a sarong blah 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 so he said yeah sure so I go in I've got the sarong I'm supposed to come down the stairs and he says sorry sorry it's not working with the sarong do you mind taking the sarong off and walking down the stairs. So now, I mean, I was slim, but I was so messed up about my body mm. image and everything. So as I'm coming down the stairs, I'm a bit nervous because I'm like feeling really exposed. <clears throat> Cut, do it again. You're looking very, you're looking, it's just, it's all wrong. Do it again. Go up the stairs, come back down to do it, start to do it again. He's cut and he says at the top of his voice, if you don't want me to shoot your cellulite, give me plenty of tits and teeth. Bloody hell. But but I but I don't think of actors as bit of ever thinking like that. But what are you saying? See if you can guess. You'll Why have I done that? A banoffee pie. No. Oh. So I don't know. You know when your bananas are starting to go a bit overripe, guys. One look. I've even found now frozen chopped avocado, but you can't get frozen bananas. Right. So. 
what you do is you lay them out flat on a piece of baking paper, put them in the freezer till they're frozen, and then you can put them in your own bag. And then they're brilliant for smoothies. But why are we doing that? Because they, they're too ripe to eat, but they'll be perfect in smoothies. So you put all your frozen stuff in the blitzer, oh, frozen banana, frozen avocado, raspberries, blueberries, almonds. Girls breakfast, isn't it? Hang on. So you're doing this to store? To store. I think that deserves a dance. Oh yeah, because it's up there for thinking, down there for dancing. Up there for thinking, down there for dancing, up there for thinking, down there for dancing. Dance. Just get a close up with your toes. I've got my. Are they the wisest? Up there for thinking, down there for dancing. Up there for thinking, down there for dancing, up there for thinking, down there for dancing. Dancing toes. Dancing. <laughs> it's getting weirder. It is. So they're going in with the dog food. Going in this little mini freezer till they're frozen and then they can go into a bag. Oh, God, that's very organised. I know. But this, this is bloody genius. Because the ones I've got before were half and they wouldn't blitz because they're too big. I have to say, it's the kind of thing I Every find... Every time I've got the house tidy, I've been organised the whole time. It's I find good. it very hard to get excited about storing frozen foods. Yeah, that's because you never make a smoothie. You just get the beautiful smoothie given to you in a glass. True, so very true. So why would true. you be excited? Why don't you just get banana powder? Banana... Powder. Powder? Yeah, for a smoothie. You know, you can get powdered banana. Well, why would I get powdered banana? That's not healthy, is it? Isn't it? Mm. Right, so Mark, I'm doing you sea bass. The old timeless classic, the old reliable. In fact, um, somebody tweeted me the other day and said that they make this every single week since I've done, seen me do it. So and easy. So happy. Did it? Yeah, I felt happy. So why are you rubbing your breasts? Yeah. Hmm. Right, now, think about the choices you're about to make. Okay. So sea bass. Mm -hmm with salad mm -hmm. and brown rice. Yeah. Or sea bass with sweet potato fries done in the oven so they're not so fatty. And broccoli. Yes. What would you like? The latter. Sweet potato fries rather with than broccoli. brown rice. You didn't want to make the big the big clever choice you wanted to make, the medium choice. Mm. They're, not, they're not that bad because they're sweet potato and they're oven chips. Look, they're these ones, guys. Let me show you. I mean, if you're going to have... A lot of freezer action tonight, isn't there, in this vlog? A lot of freezer. See, these are good. You know, they're not going to do you a lot of damage. You've done a workout so you can have carbs. And if you prefer them, but it will be longer than rice. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. And you're having one of your five a day. Come on, let's all do it. Five a day. Have you had your five a day? Do you remember when the girls used to sing that when they came back from school? They taught it to the kids and it drive me absolutely mad. One, two, three, four, five a day. What's the tune? That's how they sing it, isn't it? Because it's a... I don't remember Mothers that at Mothers will know what I'm talking about. I think I must have been out of the country when one, that was two, happening. One, two, three, four, five, five a, day. a day. No, it doesn't ring any bells. Um, guess what? what? A survey, this is, this is a little worrying because I heard something on the radio whilst coming back from work today. And Look at a poll, mm. a poll has been done mm. of the British public. Mm -hmm. And this poll, in a couple of the papers today and discussed on LBC radio, mm. suggests, believe it or not, and this is slightly worrying, and this could be a consequence of the Brexit Im impasse. Yeah. That a majority of British voters, are you listening? Yeah. A majority of British voters would prefer, 63% would prefer, an authoritarian leader who bypasses government. Think about that precisely. And what percentage? 62%. Why? 
power. You'd give one person the power. And I heard on the radio today, oh person God. after person phoning in, believing that Farage should bypass government. Are we looking at a civil war? Are we looking at civil breakdown? Are we looking oh at the breakdown God. of British civilization as we know it? Oh my this God, is this so major. Impressive. This is major. We're talking about civil unrest here. Well, We're talking about a civil war. a civil war. We're talking about people who are so split down the middle. I mean, families are falling apart based on the Brexit debate. Parts of families aren't talking to other parts who voted to remain. Other oh, parts are not so talking to other parts that have voted to leave. And it's becoming so poisonous and so dangerous. But, I mean, I have to say, I, I, you know, those sorts of stories don't usually kind of affect me. But reading a story where people are actively saying they'd rather have an authoritarian leisure. What do you think, guys? Well, OK. A dictator? 61%. A dictator? No, of who? Is this LBC listeners? The Guardian it's clearly suggesting is that there is a vast number of people who would rather be ruled by an undemocratic individual rather than... Now, that said, government and parliament has hardly sold itself to us, yeah. has it? There is a democratic failure at work in this country because yeah. the system ain't working. I don't people want to get overly unheard. political. People, huh? feel people feel unheard. People feel unheard on both sides of the equation. What is the meaning of democracy, folks? We think we live in a democracy, and you'd, you'd think that asking a question on like, do you want to stay or do you want to go in, into the EU, is a democratic question. But isn't a democracy actually about voting in people who contend with far more complicated... It's a very complicated issue. So handing the question over to the public isn't about the public not being educated enough to know what they're talking no, about. It's about not being your It's not our expertise. Exactly. We vote for politicians to precisely negotiate the complexities of these decisions. And I personally think, it's not that we don't observe the, the vote that happened. I think Cameron was an absolute moron, a prized moron for putting it to the public without us having got to a position of knowing what the hell it bloody meant. I really do. I think that's the biggest mistake oh, for, bo right. for both happen? sides of the equation, because actually we could have had a very orderly Brexit. I, I mean, so I heard someone saying, you showed me a clip of this comedian. I was an EU sceptic, though I now want to remain. I've not, uh, just because I want us to remain in the EU doesn't mean that I'm com completely comfortable with everything the EU represents. But I think it's better to be part of the club rather than outside the club. Because even if the EU project goes up the swanee, we could all leave, couldn't we? So better to be in it than out of it, I think, personally. Um, anyway, it, I just thought that was a bit frightening. The idea of Farage as a dictator... What's happening here? Which is yesterday's... I know Maddie. Oh, Maddie's in one of her... I don't want anything to eat. I don't want any dinner. So I know 100%, 100%, if I say to her, nice chicken wrap with mayo and pesto later, she'll go, yeah, OK, she can not... Oh, Kiki's pizza is going cold. All of them. Oh. Kiki! Do you know it's boiling in the house? It's boiling in the house. So hot. So hot. It's, it's boiling in the house. It's your mum. How can it be my fault it's hot? Because you're always cold. I like your Star Wars t-shirt. Can yeah. I have to see it? He's got a thermal detonator. Kiki, what do you think of the new covers for the sofa? Look. Oh. oh. <coughs> Why did you get them in pink? Exactly what I said. I showed you it online. You said you liked it. So pink. It's like being in the Why bloody... Why did you get it in pink? It's like something from Edward Scissorhands. <laughs> it's like candy floss, isn't it? That's exactly what I said. It's like being in a Barbie film. I really like it. No? No. I love Kiki. She's just like... So she's good. like just the greatest critic. She just says it. Boosh. Okay, Nads, this story in Dubai of this woman who called... What's the story? The woman did what? She, it's a historic story, isn't it? She called... Anyway, someone called someone a horse, I believe. No. But Nadji's going to give you the full lowdown right so now. a woman married to a Dubaiian, yeah. living in Dubai, yeah. had a daughter with him, married him for 14 years. Yeah. Came over here for a holiday. Yeah. And he married somebody else. Which in Islamic law you're allowed to, you can take four wives. And then he didn't want her back. And so she wrote on social media, 
I can't believe I've been replaced with a horse face. <gasps> This is That's ago. a bit harsh. This is a couple of years ago. Yeah. She's hurt. She's been married for 14 years. She just married some other woman. Yeah. So she goes, uh, then he dies. A few years later, he dies, her ex-husband. And I think it was yesterday she flew over to Dubai, probably for the funeral maybe, with her mm. daughter, her 14-year-old daughter. And um, she was arrested at the airport. No. For cyber... Cruelty? Defamation of character. Right. Um, if she hadn't had a daughter with her, they would have taken her straight to jail. You're and you know, the thing is, this is what a lot of people don't realise. Everyone sees all the celebrities out in Dubai, you know, very glamorous place, all of that. What they don't realise is, there are so many laws that you just don't know about. For instance, if you smoke cannabis, you've got to be really careful because if you go to Dubai, because they can randomly choose people and they do a urine testing on them. You've been at the airport. At the airport. In. They don't have to be carrying any cannabis. So she means not if you smoke cannabis there, if you yeah. smoked it in this country yeah. and it's in your system. Like months there. before and it's in your system and they yeah, do I a drug test, that. then you'll go to prison. I've travelled and worked there a few times and I've seen people dragged away out of the... Uh, with the they bring the dogs, they do the whole works. Oh yeah, my yeah, God. Yeah. It, you do get a bit petrified going into the country, but you want to know some other remarkable ones. If you're caught... Cross-dressing, cross-dressing, dancing in public, prisonable. So you couldn't have a Bollywood musical there. See, that's dancing really in public, isn't there? Because the hotels, there's wine, there's well, swearing. You're heard, overheard swearing. Arrested. Any extramarital affair. Do you know this? Get if this. If you're not married. And you're, if Mark and I went, we're not married, we're foreign nationals and we share a hotel room. You That's the next arrested. one. If you share a hotel room as an unmarried couple, you could be arrested. I mean, just don't do it. If you're going and you're not married, do not book a hotel now, room. Now, not surprising that if you're accused of raping someone, you'll be arrested. But a bit more surprising is if you're the victim of rape, you also you run the risk arrested. of being arrested. Oh, why? Yeah. It's a very different yeah. country. The, the suggestion very being that perhaps you've, you've brought Might it on. Encourage yeah. You. Drinking alcohol in public. Only be able, you can only drink in licensed mm. venues. Get this one. If you promote a charity on social media, you'll go to prison. What? You can't promote charities on social media. If you were doing a charitable job, you have to get permission from the government or from the, the royal family, the authorities, before you can promote a, social, uh, a charity on social media. Do you know that you can get... So this woman has posted something on social media in her own country as a British woman. You could go to Dubai and... But you because it's on up, your account. You, because it's on your account, you could be arrested and put into jail. Who's the rugby player that's been in jail for, for ages now and he's not even gone to court? British rugby player. Mm. Because I think he brushed past somebody in a bar and the guy mm. said he touched his bum. Got to be very careful. And protesting in public. And you'll get arrested for that too. And I bet there's a whole load more. So what I would say is, guys, if you're going to Dubai, check out all the rules. Somebody recently told me that about not being married. I mean, can you imagine? Yeah, if, you, if we weren't married in a hotel room, they you could bust your door down it, and take you, you out. You wouldn't think of it. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Four in a bed. Yummy, the little yummy, one yummy, said, yummy. roll over, roll over. You and they all rolled over and one fell out. And the little one said to the big one said, roll over. Roll over. And the little one said, and the big one said, and the little one said, and the big one. So me and Kiki, Daddy Kiki day tomorrow. Yeah. What are we going to do? What do you want to do? Where do you want to go? Um, Should we do everything? Sometimes I worry there's not enough hours. Like now it does that thing. It, oh, yes, it sort of splits in the middle in a what? funny place. <laughs> I love it, Justin Bieber. Bieber. Why don't you both go to the hairdressers tomorrow? No. Back to Maggie's house. Because they're going to have weirdest, her weirdest thing. No. Weirdest thing to do, wouldn't it? Just go to the hairdressers. No. You go to my hairdressers in Soho, Possibly. the wacky barber. No. That's where I go when Simone doesn't do it. I might go and have. Do <laughs> you want to come and watch me have my hair shaved off? No. It's like a tattooist. It's so cool in there. Right next, yeah, was, cool. right next to where I was stabbed. Not all the hairdressers wears um, rollerblades. Yeah, well, she used to. I used to have my hair cut by a woman who was Amanda, six she foot. Fell, she was six foot four, Australian woman, tattooed from head to foot, oh, and her name was Kylie. Her name was That's Kylie. Why you like the hairdressers. No, her name was Kylie, and she used to go around on roller skates. She used to do roller derbying, like we saw in LA. 
And do you like roller derby? I love go to roller derby. Oh, that was so fun! So, I got so competitive. It was so fun. You were so competitive because we were rooting for different teams in LA, uh, just in LA. Roller derby. And anyway, so we're going to see some roller derby. Have my hair cut off, and I don't know. No. Why don't Let's we go to a comic shop? You want to go to a comic eat shop? Food. Eat food. Some shops. Shops. Art, maybe. Art. Sort of funky art. Weird shit. Maybe a movie. Who knows? Fit it all in. Not enough hours in a day. Got to get up early and get cracking. Oh. Anyway, what's happening over here? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, <laughs> That's Mark's. Fish, chips, broccoli, and this is what I've got. It's so hot on my hand. Oh, it's burning. Us. Look at us. Oh, oh my Come God. On. Can I have it? Mine is. It's so yummy. Do you want it? Oh. I was going to say, Mixed really? Shall we? Would you eat it? No, eat this. Oh my God, there's a whole other one. So I've dry fried cashew nuts, hazelnuts, pumpkin seeds. I've got a whole avocado and mixed leaves, rocket pea shoots and a lovely dressing. And that, I love it. Oh my God, it's so good. Mm. She was like, I'm in heaven. I am. I'm in heaven. See it? I'm in heaven, and my heart beats so that I can hardly speak. Makes me cringe. <laughs> <laughs> Especially how he tries so hard. <laughs> when we dance together, dancing, dancing cheek to cheek. cheek. I'm in heaven, Kiki B. I'm in heaven, and I'm my in heart beats so that I can hardly speak. And I think that I really need to eat. When we dance together, dancing dance cheek to cheek. Good night, folks. Cheek to cheek. Good night. Have a lovely evening. <laughs> Rush! Angle it's tight! Hate it's too! Sad! <laughs> <laughs>